Okay, so following on from the last um, video, uh, let's keep the hypotenuse of the... We made the diagram a little bit more complicated here. So if you look at the triangle ABC, it's the same as in the last uh, diagram uh, in the last video. And let's again assume that BC is equal to 1. Okay, so just ignoring the line AD for a minute, we can say, okay, we've got a right angle triangle ABC. Um, BC is 1, so and we know X, so we can say that AC is equal to cos of X, and BC is equal to sine of X. Okay? But we've drawn this line here, AD, and notice that this is a right angle as well, so this is 90 degrees also. So if, X, uh, if we look at the triangle ADC, we can see that um, we have a 90 degree triangle with one of the angles as X, which actually is the same as the triangle ABC. So what that means is that this angle here and this angle here are the same because if we look at the triangle ABC, uh, let's give this a name Y for a minute, uh, then in the triangle ABC we've got uh, a 90 degree triangle so we just know x uh, plus y equals 90 and in the triangle ADC this triangle again we've got a 90 degree triangle so we know that x plus y equals 90 so these y's must be the same basically Okay, and then if we look at this triangle here, triangle, change the color again, uh, A, B, D, we have Y and a right angle, so actually we know that, let's call this X, that this X, again, plus y equals 90. So the blue x and the black x are, are the same as well. So this is x, this is x, and these are both 90 minus x. Okay, um, this whole length here is 1, and we've got cos x here. So now what we're going to do is work out the lengths of the other sides. Okay, well, let's first start with this triangle ADC. Um, then let's try and work out the length AD. I'm going to just remove these to make a bit more space. Um, so the length, let's cross that out. So the length AD, uh, well actually the triangle A, let's draw the triangle ADB this way around instead so that we can see it. X here, um, this would be D, this is C, and this is A, and it's a right angle triangle. So we just put this D and we turned it upside down and we can see that it's the same as the triangle we had before so we can say that uh, if we know the length AC uh, then uh, DC is going to be AC times cos X and AD is going to be AC times sin X Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And we know 
the length AC is cos x. So this length here from D to C is actually going to be cos x times AC, but we know AC already, AC is cos x, so it's actually just cos x times cos x. And we can do the same for AD, this is going to be cos x times sin x, because this is opposite to x here, yeah, sin x. So A D is cos x sin x and D C is going to be cos and a shorter way to write is squared x, that just means times itself. So dc is cos squared x. And let's remember this angle here is x. So let's now try and work out this length here. Well, we know actually that BC is equal to 1. So BD is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. But we can also start with this triangle. If we look at the triangle A, B, D, and let's draw it again. Um, let's turn it around so that you've got, we know the angle A here is X, and then we've got the hypotenuse is AB of this triangle, well that's B, and then D. So AD is going to be, so the hypotenuse of this triangle we already know is sine x. So if we want to know BD in this triangle we can go, okay well it, it's sine x times the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is sine x. So BD is actually sine squared x. So we have sine squared x here. So, just remove all that. Okay, well only let me delete so far. So this here is sine squared x. So actually what we have, if we put this together, if we look at the line BC, BC is equal to BD plus DC because it's this length plus this length so that's actually equal to sine squared squared X plus cos squared X but remember we started with this assumption here that this is actually equal to 1 so just by looking at the triangle and finding the lengths in different ways, we've shown the theorem, and this is the theorem cos squared x plus sine squared x equals to 1.